up what's good everybody it's Shanice welcome back to my channel so as you can see my hair is looking a little bit different I did do a twist out and I have not done a twist out in a hot hot minute on my channel so I thought I would do a tutorial for you guys you know give you guys something a little different something I haven't done in a very long time now that my hair is short or shorter I felt like you know it's time to switch it up do something different other than a wash and go and I actually love how my results came out let me know what you guys think and if you guys did enjoy the video if you guys do enjoy the video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel love you guys so much and I'll see you guys all in the next video deuces hey guys so I started off by washing my hair with the curls blueberry bliss reparative hair wash before styling make sure that your hair is clean and then I went in with the Curls Blueberry List Reparative Hair Mask. I left this on my hair for about 10 to 15 minutes in the shower and then washed it out. So this is my hair after washing and conditioning and it's looking super gorgeous. So now I'm going to go in with the reparative leave-in conditioner and I'm just going to put about this much on each section of my hair. And this is going to add moisture and get my curls to already start popping. So for this twist out, I wanted a deep side part. So that's what I'm giving myself right here. And then I'm just gonna work on one section of my hair. So as you can see, I'm sort of parting my sections with my fingers. That's because the parts don't have to be perfect because you don't really wanna see the line of demarcation when you undo your twist. So for the star of the show, I'll be using the Twist and Shout Cream by Curls. This is what's going to really define my hair. And I use a good amount throughout my entire section. It really depends on how much hair you have. So I'm just going to really work that in. And on top of that, I am going to be applying the Blueberry Bliss Hair Growth Oil. And this is just going to give me some more shine. This is pretty much the LCO method, liquid cream oil. So for this section, I am gonna do a flat twist and I really just like doing flat twists on the perimeter of my hair. I feel like it just lays my hair better instead of having like frizz. I'll just be flat twisting this all the way down. And when I reach the ends of my hair, I'm gonna add a little bit more product. You just really wanna make sure that there's always some type of slip there and it's not getting dry. So when I get to the very end, I'm going to make sure to twirl my hair around my finger and it's going to make a nice coil, as you can see. So as you can see, I did two flat twists, but the whole back section is going to be single strand twists. So I just take medium sections and apply the twist and shout cream and work that through my hair. And then I apply the oil on top to lock everything in. And you really want to make sure that your hair is nice and detangled. You want it to be nice and smooth because that's going to opt for a defined twist out. So as you can see, I'm sort of pulling on my twist as I'm twisting and that's gonna create the twist to be a lot tighter and that's gonna give you more defined results as well. So I'm just gonna continue to twist the back section of my hair and I just wanna remind you guys that as you work your way down, you wanna apply a little bit more product and all this wet stuff right here is gonna go away once it dries. It's just gonna melt right into the hair. And again, just twirl your hair around your fingers. So this is my hair after all my twists on this side are done. I love how shiny and chunky they are. It's just, it's just everything. <laughs> all right, so again, you can see that I am doing two flat twists on either side. And then the whole back section is going to be single strand twists. So once all the twists are complete, I'm gonna add a little bit of the hair growth oil to my scalp because my scalp does get dry. And then I'm gonna add perm rods to the ends of each twist to make sure that my twists don't unravel while I sleep. And this is also gonna give me a very defined curl or sort of like a spiral curl once I take them down. So I'm gonna go to bed with my headscarf on and let these bad boys air dry overnight. All right guys, so this is the next day. As you can see, my hair did shrink a lot. I'm going to add some of the hair growth oil to my hands and just put that all over my hair for some more shine. And I did take out my perm rods. That was really self-explanatory. Now I'm moving on to unraveling each twist. So this part you really wanna do nice and gently. I like to 
take my hair sort of from the roots and just pull on it. That just creates less frizz for me and it just works. So that's what I'm doing here and I'm just doing this as gently as possible. Like, look how easy that is. So this is how my hair looks once all the twists are pulled out. As you can see, it's super flat. So I'm taking these chunky sections and dividing them into smaller sections or smaller curls, just breaking them apart a little bit. This is gonna give me some more volume, but it will create more frizz. But what are curls without frizz, right? Yeah. So this is how my hair is looking. I am loving it so far. And I'm just taking it a step further and just fluffing out my roots. So I'm just taking my hands and literally lifting my roots. So I can't forget to lay my edges. I'm using the Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Paste and just slightly getting my edges. Not a lot, not doing too much. And these are the final results. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'm absolutely loving it. Loving the definition and the shine. And if you guys are interested in the Curls Blueberry Bliss collection, I will leave where you can find the products down below. So I will see you guys all in the next video. I love you guys. Mwah!